All right, Coach, um, sort of looking ahead with all these upsets this weekend, what is it going to take for you to probably pull the biggest upset against a ranked team like Clemson? We've got to go out and play great. Got to have a good plan. Uh, we've got to have some things to fall in our direction for us to you know, to be successful in a situation such as this. That, that's what happens uh, when an FCS team generally beats you know, one of the bowl subdivision kinds of teams. You know, it's got something to do with the bowl. So it's, it probably says more about the bowl team than it does about the FCS team. They're not probably you know, paying attention to some things that way. But uh, you know, it'll be fun to go in and play these guys. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how we match up. You know, I'd I, I like to see if we can block them. You know, I like to see you know if they can block us. I like to see if we can defend them. It's 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 a good measuring stick for us to see, you know, just how we compare, you know, with these styles of programs. Well, one of the issues the last time you played were several penalties for the way you were in, basically set up. What can y'all do to sort of rectify that that same problem doesn't happen again? Several penalties for the way we were set up the last time we played. Yeah, like being in um. They say that legal shift, legal motion. Yeah, but that was back in the Carolina days. I don't think I can remember one where we had that much of an issue here lately. Um, heck, well, I don't know. Well, it was in that. We work. We work. We work on a lot of. We work with a lot of silent kind of stuff. We don't have the sound system here that can give us the noise that we need to be able to replicate that kind of environment. But what we do is we try to go completely silent so that. When we do communicate under those circumstances, you know, it gives you a chance to deal with it in a way where you're kind of similar to what you would if you can't hear. Well, it was more or less dealing with just the way they said Joe were lined up as compared to how Clemson was lining up. And I noticed there were a couple instances in that game. Oh, well, heck, I don't know. I don't remember that. Now. I got nothing to say about it okay. yeah, at this point. But just looking at Clemson itself, just when you're dealing with a team that's coming off a big win, how much are you hoping that letdown plays a factor? Well, you know, you, I'm hoping every kind of thing that can possibly be in our favor is a factor. Um, you know, these guys, though, I'm sure, you know, have enough of a fear for South Carolina State. They've got enough kinships and friendships and all that kind of stuff. You know, this is like a war between the states. You know, you got all kinds of family gatherings. You know, I got sons and daughters and everybody that's Clemson people at this point. So that's just kind of how it is. So you, you, you can pretty much bet they'll be paying attention to us this weekend. Second straight week, you got to deal with a all American wide wide out. But in this case, you're probably dealing with one of the top guys in Sammy Watkins. I mean, how can you simulate that in practice? I don't know. You tell me. You know, you don't. What you do is you put him twenty yards down the field at the snap, and then at that point, then you start let him go. You keep everybody that's where the ordinary will be. So he got a head start on everybody. That's how you figure out how he, you know, would actually feel sensation wise. But in terms of just Defensively, how much improvement did you see <coughs> with how they played? Well, I thought we played better as the game went on. We had, we still had that one bad drive toward the end of the game, but you know, I think we'll be fine. You know, it just takes you know some time to you know get used to the speed of this particular kind of offense. They are a high reps, uh, a high power kind of uh, run game, man. You know, besides the fact that they hit you with a lot of plays in a hurry, you know, they throw it all over the place. They won't let you beat you. They won't. They won't let you beat them off it, up off the edge because they got all kinds of little hot throws outside. They put their receivers out there one on one, and you're taking there, and uh, you know they make you pay that way. So whatever you want to do to try to, you know, give them some heartache, they generally have an answer for. Did playing a team that sort of ran on non a high pace style like Coastal help y'all against Clemson? Well, you know, it should. You know, it's similar to the style of sorts. Now, you know, they don't have nearly the uh, uh, level of ability or the uh, uh, high level kind of, of uh, execution that Clemson would have. But at the same time, uh, it is similar of sorts. And, uh, you know, anything you can get that way helps you prepare for those kind of games. I mean, I know this is a game that you want to try to win, um, even though the odds are against you. But when you look at where the season stands right now, does that put more pressure to win the follow, at least the following week? Oh, I guarantee it does. You know, it's going to be hard for us to win this week, but, you know, we're going to go after it just as if, you know, it was any other game. You know, but now if, if, if we would not be successful, 
you know, uh, after that game, you know, that you know, we let that situation deal as it will. We don't deal with the hypothetical down the road a piece. Uh, right now, all I'm thinking about is Clemson. Health wise, um, where does the team stand right now? Pretty good. We had a couple. We got a couple of guys, guys banged around this morning. I think overall, uh, did pretty good. Malcolm Reed uh, ended up having a little bit of an ankle deal, where uh, one of our defensive linemen fell on him. Uh, How great is practice this morning? The rest of the guys seem to be pretty good. Be pretty. Uh, and Tristan, when it comes to dealing with the cramps, uh, it's yeah, he's just, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Were you able to use as much depth? on game one that, that you had liked to? Probably didn't use as much in some positions as we probably should have. We probably probably should have played some of those offensive linemen a little bit earlier. We played uh, uh, Eric Dickinson and, and Javaris Lehman a little bit, but I don't think we played anybody. We, we played uh, Avery Grant when when uh, um, Tristan went down, but you know we made be better thinking about playing more of those guys over the long haul that way. I think we are trying to figure out how to get that done now. But the rest of the offensive team pretty much played liberally uh, throughout the depth chart that way. Um, we, we only played one quarterback, but we played you know, lots of running backs and wide receivers and all that kind of stuff. Then on defense, I think we played the full gamble of people, played a good bit of defensive front guy. Didn't play quite as many as I would like, but we played a good minute. Played, played in our second linebacker in court, played in our second secondary a good bit. So I think we played most of those guys, you know, in a way that we played, you know, with pretty good, uh, with a pretty good amount of depth. And then, of course, in our special teams, you know, you, your specialists in general, you know, pretty much are the, are the guys. But, you know, we did play a, a good many of our guys in our special teams depth chart also. You look at Richard's numbers, um, 178 yards, which is the highest of any quarterback in the conference this week. Um, only 10 passes, but you can safe to say that say six of them were dropped. How much is that the concern with the drops again? It's a concern. It's a concern. We're going to get better at it, though. And well, I guess with that, you involved by probably looking at other guys as well. Yeah, you, you, saw, you saw that by two things, by, you know, by more repetition execution-wise and by change of the personnel. And getting back to Richard, a um, game like this just – if he's able to hold his own, how much is that going to be a confidence boost for him? Oh, a lot. You know, anytime you get into these kind of situations and you're successful, of course it makes you feel like you can go in other ones and, and, and play, you know, really well. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how he does this weekend. I think he'll do fine. And, uh, you know, the best part about it is that, you know, we're starting to put some people around him that can help him, you know, get some things done. Is it help that you don't have to deal with the Bamberg bookends this time? <laughs> Yeah, it does. Yeah, uh, we don't have to deal with them. But let me tell you what: looking at the rest of that crowd that's running around there, I don't know if it helps at all. <laughs> these these guys up front on defense are really, really good. They run around like you wouldn't believe. So, you know, it's a pretty safe bet that if you play uh, the big boys in South Carolina right now, you better be prepared to deal with some great defensive line. But I guess in that case, is the worst case would have been if he had to deal with Clowney this time around? Yeah, well, it's six and one and a half dozen other way. You know, it's from our uh, point of view, you know, ain't a whole lot about Jefferson, ain't <laughs>